This is really what I need, but this holds my bumper on. Err, guess we gotta take it off. We'll get something else here. The battery keeps falling out. Maybe. It's a hot, it's still June. Summer's kicking along pretty good. Welcome to the blog. My name is Scott, and welcome to my channel. Today, we are going to try to level off a few things with this old Massey. Uh, I built this tractor a few years ago and really have enjoyed it. Some things aggravate me with it sometimes. But we're going to go try to go back up the road and level a bunch of stuff off with a tractor that the dozer just can't do. Um, I got me a grader box. Thanks to Jimbo. He let me borrow it. I'd like to find one of these. Um, so we're on sticks and twigs and things that like to puncture tires. And we need to level a few things off. So let's get up on the hill and get to work. plateau cleaned off um, what I'm doing today is mostly just stick detail trying to pull up all the crap that's buried in the ground and uh, making good usable soil up here we got some really good rich soil um, a little ways down in the ground about two or three foot I ran into some clay not too bad uh, but my ideal goal is I'm gonna turn you around here the I got to get this a little bit more level. We've got a couple more trees to get taken out here and then get this leveled off down through here and get this really square. And basically that's where we're going to come in through right over there. Now that road over there was a temporary road and we still haven't cut the main road, but we still have a lot to work. And 
Boy, is it hot out. The old tractor, she ain't happy. That, that's the gas. That's gas boiling in the gas tank. Yeah, that kind of does it on some of these old tractors. You can see. So I've been leaving the gas cap loose. I'm not filling it completely full, so just the gas tank's right over top of the engine. It does have a heat shield, but what do you want? This is a 60-year-old tractor. So uh, I'm going to get back to it. We're going to finish cleaning this off. I did run into a little bit of situation. There's some bees up here, hornets, and they're right over there. I'm trying not to disturb them too much because, boy, did they eat me up the other day. Um, boy, did the, the bulldozer. Let's talk about the bulldozer. Yeah, it's not happy again. Uh-oh. I hear the bees again. Anyway, the bulldozer, I've ripped the bucket off. And let's just, I'm going to let the tractor cool for a few minutes. And we're going to go over here and ripped it off now like this one here if you can see there's this metal cutting edge and that's what uh, you there it is here's another better view of it that one's pulled off a little bit but but boy did I really and I mean really rip the crap out of the bucket it seems like I use the dozer I fixed the dozer it uh, man and it can never win look at that jobby I ripped this an entire blade off that went right here in the front and peeled that back so boy do i got some work to do again and the last time i welded it man was i sunburnt <laughs> was not uh welding burn was not fun but i'm going to get back at it i'm going to finish scooping around moving some of these sticks and twigs that are down in the dirt it is going to make it a lot nicer the more work i do on the property up here the less headache it's going to be once I move the containers up here because once they're up there this is going to be quite full and all this stuff's going to be in the way it's going to be hard when I'm climbing underneath the house got all these sticks even though we're going to pour rock down here I want all this to be nice to be able to get underneath the house and work on without causing an issue the uh, the drag box is working really really well uh, I got it tilted pretty far forward so I'm trying to just scoop up and pick up all the crap that's back here and um, that's working pretty nice I wanted to go buy one this week but man no one had any for sale I didn't want to buy a new one I wanted to buy a seven foot box that's a five and here's what usually happens when you got a narrow box and it barely covers the tracks of your dozer it it don't smooth things off too well and then you got tire tracks and whatnot, but I'm going to use it. It's a freebie for right now until I can find another drag box. But the tractor's running great. The 165, she, she's doing okay. I had a little bit of problem this morning. The, um, and I'm saying it's running okay. Uh, it's just that it's got a few little issues since I've rebuilt it. The old coil blew out this morning right there. And it was giving me some fits. It just kind of acted like it was out of gas, but it wasn't. It was firing, not firing, firing, not firing. And then it would just load up on fuel. Man, it was just driving me crazy. So got that problem solved. And it only took three or four hours, so I figured that out. But I'm going to get back, getting all this crap cleaned up, making this nice fertile ground up here. And I just can't wait. I just can't wait to get up here. This is like so much being in within the nature up here. It's just just a beautiful piece of land and I'm very thankful for the people that I got it from and uh, I think it's just going to be a, a very nice place through here but again this is kind of where the house is going to go up through here the road down through there it eventually turn and go that way but for now we're just using the service road to get in and out but I'm going to get back at it I'm going to finish scooping this stuff up and maybe put you guys
Alright guys, progress is going on very good. Um, I have been moving some dirt with the tractor down here. I have 40 feet or 53 feet of it that I got to get level. Um, looks like I'm going to have to get on the dozer a little bit more. We got a little bit of work down here on this end and uh, then get out the transit. That's our next stage is getting the transit. What I'm going to need is three inches for every 10 foot of grade underneath the house. Now keep in mind, the uh, the house is going to be elevated about three feet off the ground. It's going to be setting on pilings. So I want to make sure that this ground back here is a little higher. And if I get any groundwater, I want to make sure that it flows and continues to go down the hill under the house, not uh, pooling up underneath of it. So that's our next stage is to get the transit out here i gotta go get a little fuel for the bulldozer she's out i think the bucket's gonna hold temporary for now i'm not digging any more stumps and man stumps can be man they can make you have a bad day with your dozer it just tears the crap out of it so i'm going to finish going back down the hill work on the road a little bit more but we're going to get out of here and uh, my day's done for us, so I hope you guys enjoyed part of our little bits of episode. This is our dream, our dream home, and maybe you guys can get some information or get some ideas what we're doing. You know, you don't have to build the same thing, but you can always get some good ideas. And, you know, a lot of people go to YouTube to look for great ideas. I did, and I've seen some great concept homes, but a home is your personal place. And you want to make that is, you know, fit your environment, your needs, everything else. So that's, you know, build it to you way you want it. Don't build it because of somebody else or, you know, how it looked on TV or whatever. It's got to fit your needs you know how you operate in your home and hopefully this is my last house that I'll ever build I'm getting getting up there I'm, I'm I'm only 46 but I still got many years and hopefully this is my last house you know and I built I had another house once before and I the reason why I chose shipping container homes is is because I'm tired of the same old eh, bland old type house so looking for something unique and we uh you know we decided to use a ship you know ship containers to build our house we've got a total of 16 containers that's going to go in this house and yeah that's a lot of containers but we have a big family and everybody always asks man what are you going to do with that big old place when you get done well man uh, we, you know, like I said, it's our design and we built really large bedrooms downstairs so that when we get older and can't climb the stairs no more, we have a place to go. And then hopefully whoever decides to stay there to take care of us when we get older, they can stay upstairs and enjoy what we put together. So, you know, get out there enjoy life design and build until the next video see you later